Welcome back to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman. I'm joined this afternoon by Janie Lackman from Habitat for Humanity. Welcome back, Janie. Oh, thank you. So happy to have you here today. We're not talking about turtles, but we're talking about Habitat for Humanity. So um, this is a really exciting time for Habitat. Um, and I know you're here to talk about um, a big event coming up. But before you do that, would you tell us a little bit about the history of Habitat for Humanity in Beaufort County? I'd love to. Um, our mission is we seek to put God's love into um, action through bringing people together to build homes, community, and hope. And we've been doing that in Northern Beaver County for 25 years, so we're really excited, excited about yeah. that. So, um, and to celebrate those 25 years, I know that you have a big event coming up. That's true. <laughs> we've partnered with uh, CBC National Bank mm -hmm. as our presenting sponsor and Low Country Real Estate as our honorary chair to host our big 25th anniversary Build a Home event on September 17th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Shed in Port Royal. Sounds amazing. Um, I know I've seen information already about this online and on Facebook, so I'm excited to be able to come and participate. Tell us a little bit about what will happen at the event. It is going to be such a fun event. We've got so many wonderful things lined up. We're going to have a brand new type of auction called a honeydew auction where we're going to offer up, we're going to offer up auction of items or services for people to do for you to get things off your honeydew list. Oh my god, what a great idea. I think I have one of those at my house that, that Mr. <laughs> Wyman never gets to. <laughs> Everybody so, does. <laughs> so I think I'll get put my name on that list. But um we know that what low, what low Country um, Habitat for Humanity does and what a wonderful organization it is and how it serves our community. Um, but one of the things that always comes to mind, and maybe if people are not aware of, how are your family, partners, participants, how are they selected? What are the requirements in order to receive services? So the first thing is to attend a family orientation meeting. We host those typically once a year. At those meetings, we go over what the requirements are for participation in the program. The first requirement is that you live or work in Buford County and you're a legal resident. The second one would be that you're currently living in what's considered substandard housing. You also need to have an ability to pay back the mortgage because we are a hand up program, not a hand out, out program, program. Right. Yep. and a willingness to partner with us through sweat equity hours. Excellent. So um, how are the funds that, that you raise, how are they used? The funds are used towards building. What we do is build houses and all the funds that are donated to our local affiliate go to help our neighbors here in Buford, Northern Buford County. Also the mortgage payments that come in for those houses for our existing homeowners get back in to help with that as well. Excellent. So it's a way to give back and continuing to give back. Correct. Um, and, and just to re-emphasize what you said, this is not a handout, it is a hand up. It's a way to get people back on their feet, to get started, get them in a safe, secure home um, here in this wonderful community that we that we all love. Right. Um, one of the things that I've, I'm ashamed to say I've never been into, but I pass all the time. <laughs> we can fix that. I know, I'm sure. <laughs> um, is the ReStore. So um, tell, tell the, the community about the ReStore um, and, and sort of about its mission and how it, or it helps fund serve your mission, rather. Right. The ReStore is actually our retail operation. So at the ReStore, they accept donations of uh, building materials, pretty much everything from furniture to lighting, and, and including the kitchen sink we take at the ReStore. <laughs> um, and then we sell those donated items uh, below market value below retail and those funds then go back in to help our program and to help us build more houses also we're taking things out of the landfills so we're conserving and, and wow, helping out yeah. that way reuse restore use yeah. recycle oh, restore. restore yeah absolutely <laughs> wow um, so we've learned so much about what the low country habitat for humanity does today um, I'm going to take a wild guess here in saying that you're always looking for people to come and help you as volunteers. We are. Yes, we are. Definitely. <laughs> there are lots of ways to get involved okay. with Low Country Habitat for Humanity. And so if people want um, to find a way, they, they contact you or they can go right to your website in order to find out about volunteer opportunities? Correct. Um, we always say shop, donate, volunteer. There are lots of different ways you can get involved. And especially with our big 25th anniversary coming up around the corner, that would be a great way to to attend and find out more about what we're about and then come to our volunteer orientation meetings that we host the second Saturday of every month at 10 o'clock at our office. And that's all you need to do to sign up and volunteer and go swing a hammer or yeah. help at the ReStore. Or Right, eat. so if you can't do your own honeydew list, help somebody else with theirs. Correct, <laughs> correct. Or, or come help us build a house, learn how, learn a trade, learn how to swing a hammer. Right, and I think it's actually a really good opportunity. Question that comes to mind, how old do you have to be to be a volunteer? Well, um, to actually work on the job site, 
you need to be 18 years old. Okay. Um, and, and the younger children cannot use power tools and those kind of things. Um, we can use younger volunteers in the store and doing other projects, but typically around 18. Okay. Good to know as a mother of two, you know, up and coming teenagers who um, don't quite always value or appreciate all the things that they do have, so always looking for something for them to do. But you know, 25 successful years in Northern Beaufort County, looking forward to this big event on September 17th. Um, once that happens, tell us what you see the future of Habitat for Humanity being. You know, look if you can look down the road 25 years from now. Looking down the road 25 years, we plan to continue forward with what we're currently doing. We want to build on the growth that we've had so far and move forward to where we have hopefully a vision of a of Buford where there, there, there is affordable housing and everybody has a decent and safe place to live because that's what we're all about. Yep, absolutely. Something, a basic need, something that every human being deserves. So Correct. thank you so much for joining us this afternoon um, and sharing information about Habitat. We are excited and hopefully we'll get everybody, as many people as can, to come and participate on September the 17th for your 25th anniversary party. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it sounds it. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for being a guest, and we'll be right back with our next guest on North of the Broad.